Hey enthusiasts, thanks for tuning in to this week's RCEnthusiast.com video. This week we're doing something a little different. We're going to take a look at RPM RC Products nylon body mounts for the Traxxas Slash. We are going to explain toe in and toe out, how it affects your vehicle's handling and how to adjust it. And we're introducing you to our new project, this GS Storm Ultimate Truck that we got for $10 at a swap meet. Let's get started. One of the weakest points of the two-wheel drive slash is the rear body mount. Uh, it's made out of a very thin plastic, and although it has this ridge here to reinforce it, it still it flexes way too much. After a few runs, this can become a problem because when the rear body mount starts drooping, it actually becomes difficult to put the body pins into the mount holes. A droopy rear body mount can also cause issues for tire fender clearance. Now I'm not applying much pressure here and you can see the amount of movement from the body. Now this is not the suspension compressing, this is the actual body mount compressing. And over time once it starts drooping you'll notice more tire fender rubbing. What's the solution for this problem? RPM's reinforced rear body mounts. And they also have it for the front. Included in the package you get the uh, bracket, the two body posts, four flathead screws to hold the post to the bracket, and instructions that explain which holes to use for which chassis because this will fit the electric and nitro, rustler and stampede, and it will fit the two wheel drive slash. Go ahead and cut the three parts off of the tree. Look at the instructions and find which holes are for your chassis and go ahead and screw the body post into the bracket. There are four screws that hold the stock rear body mount on. Simply remove the screws to mount the RPM body mount. The bracket is twice as thick as the stock one, and the body posts themselves are much more rigid. There's very little flex at all. Installation for the front is nearly the same as the rear. The RPM body mounts are easy to install and they add some much needed durability. This durability comes at a cost though as each body mount is $10. This is nearly four times the cost as the stock Traxxas units. Is it worth it? Well you're not going to be replacing these body mounts like the stock units and it's going to make mounting the body easier and it's going to take away any tire fender rubbing issues. So we say it's worth it. Now let's take a look at toe in and toe out and how it affects your vehicle. We are going to be focusing on toe on the front wheels as these are usually adjustable on most vehicles. Toe in refers to when the front wheels point inward at each other. Toe out refers to when the front wheels point away from each other. So this is toe in and this is toe out. The most common form of toe is toe in. With toe in, the vehicle is more predictable and easier to handle at higher speeds and in a straight line. Toe out increases responsiveness to steering input and cornering ability. It is possible to just eyeball the toe and adjust it by feel, but it's much better to use a tool like this RPM toe in toe out gauge. You simply set the edge of the gauge up against the tire and use the tick marks along the top part of the gauge here and line the uh, tick mark up with the ribbing of the tire. Slide it underneath the chassis on the back side of the tires and see how many tick marks off it is from the front to rear and this will tell you how many degrees toe in or toe out you have. 
companies like Huddy and Integi also offer toe-in gauges. And this low C strike has approximately one degree of toe-in. One to two degrees of toe-in is usually the stock setting on a ready-to-run vehicle, and that's a good starting point for tuning. Now, depending on your driving style, you may prefer toe out. Most ready-to-run vehicles with adjustable turnbuckles will come with a simple wrench to adjust it. You simply place the wrench on the turnbuckle and turn it. Now make sure when you're adjusting it, you adjust both sides equally, as unequal toe-in or toe-out will cause a vehicle to veer off path unpredictably. Adjusting the toe-in on your vehicle can dramatically improve its handling characteristics. Remember, toe-out makes the steering more responsive, but makes the truck a little bit less stable in a straight line and at higher speeds, and toe-in makes it more stable in a straight line and higher speeds, but it makes the steering a little bit less responsive. Now that we have that covered, let's take a look at the new truck in the RCE stable. And here it is, GS Storm Ultimate Truck, otherwise known as the GS SUT. Now I came across this truck at a swap meet at the local track, and it was $20. I had no idea what it was. I was afraid it was an off-brand, so I was a little leery about buying it. I wasn't going to at first, but a friend of mine came up and said, Hey, I'll buy that JR Servo off of it for $10 off you if you get the truck. Okay, so I bought the truck for 20 bucks. immediately sold the servo to him for 10 and essentially got a rolling chassis for $10. It looked like a Truggy based off of an 8th scale buggy chassis. So I did some searching, I came across a few Ofnas and Kyoshos that looked similar to it, but the pieces just weren't the same. So I got into friendly forums on ultimatercom and came across a loyal enthusiast, Fierro Man. Fierro Man helped me and said, hey, I got the same truck. This is a GS Storm Truggy. Now the buildup is going to revolve around it being a racing vehicle, but we are going to bash it. There's a few issues with the truck as there is there's no drive shafts in the rear. It's just free spinning tires. The servo mount for the throttle is broken off here. But that shouldn't be an issue because we actually intend on converting this to brushless. We're going to try making a motor mount that basically incorporates the top plate that holds the differential down. This was actually a design by Fierro Man. Follow it on our projects page on rcenthusiast.com and we'll see where this project takes us. Be sure to click right up there, subscribe, uh, click right here to view last week's video and uh, check the description below for any details on where to find the RPM RC products, nylon body mounts, and any information that I forgot to mention in the video. Be sure to tune in to next week's RCEnthusiast.com video. Thanks for watching.